In this video, we're going to explore how exercise affects the human body. The key point to understand is that when we exercise, our bodies need to carry out more cellular respiration. The reason for this is that all exercise requires us to move our muscles much more than usual. And any muscular contraction is going to require a lot of energy, which we have to get from respiration. As respiration requires oxygen, we're going to need to get more oxygen to our muscles. To achieve this, the rate of our breathing and the volume of each breath is going to have to increase. The downside to this though, is that it's going to require us to move the muscles around our lungs even more than usual, which itself is going to require energy. We are also going to need to pump this oxygen around the body more quickly than usual. So our heart rate is going to have to increase, which again is going to require more energy. The plan though, is that with all of this increased effort that we're putting in, It'll mean that we can supply enough oxygen to all of our muscles, and so continue to use aerobic respiration. Sometimes though, such as when we're sprinting or cycling really fast, there just won't be enough oxygen to keep up with all of our demands. And so our cells will have to start using anaerobic respiration as well. Now, as you might remember from our last video, anaerobic respiration is far less efficient than aerobic respiration. But if there's no spare oxygen left, then it's the best option our muscles have to get the energy that they need. So it doesn't matter that it's less efficient. The main problem with it though, is that it produces lactic acid as a product, which will build up in our tissues and gives you that burning sensation in your muscles that you sometimes get after you exercise. Once you've finished exercising, your body needs to get rid of all of this lactic acid by reacting it with oxygen. So the more lactic acid that you've built up, the more oxygen you'll need, and we call this an oxygen debt. In fact, it's this oxygen debt that we're repaying when we double over and pant after a race. For these reactions to take place, our blood carries the lactic acid from the muscles over to the liver, where it can react with oxygen and be converted back to glucose. The last thing we're going to look at before we finish is how we can investigate these effects of exercise on the body. The main two things we can measure are breathing rate and heart rate. To measure somebody's breathing rate, you just count how many times their chest rises and falls in a given amount of time, generally for one minute. For heart rate, you can just measure your pulse, which you can do by placing two fingers on an artery in your wrist or in your neck. The sort of questions you're going to get around this topic will probably involve measuring things before and after exercise, and then describing or explaining how they've changed. Anyway, that's everything for today, so I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.